totally deny it, but um, it's believed that distilling came to Scotland from the Irish. And uh, it's believed the monks would have brought across the secrets of distilling to Scotland. Legally, scotch is produced only in Scotland. If the scotch is made from pure malted barley at a single distillery, it's known as single malt scotch. I have a smoky peaty one here because they come in all different styles. And this one is heavy, smoky, and peaty the way the Scots like it. And I would suggest that you drink it neat. But a good master distiller will tell you that if you put a few drops of water, that water will open up the aromas and the secrets that are locked inside of your scotch. On Isla, a remote island on Scotland's west coast, the whiskies have the smokiest flavor in all of Scotland. For nearly two centuries, Isla's Laphroaig Distillery has achieved its trademark smokiness through a tradition known as barley floor malting. Well, there are three raw materials made in making whiskey, and barley is the first one of them. We need barley, we need water, and we need yeast. Without barley, we would have no material that we could use to extract the sugar that we're then going to ferment. Malting is the process of forcing barley to germinate. Lafroig is one of a handful of single malt distillers that performs floor malting on premise. When the barley arrives, it's first steeped in water to a moisture content of 45%. Approximately six tons of the grain is then spread onto the malting floor to begin drying. We're actually trying to trick the barley grain into thinking it's spring and it's time to germinate and grow into a new barley plant. It's developing enzymes, and these enzymes we can use later on in the process, they will break down all the starch, which is the food store of the grain. After germination, the barley is introduced to its famous companion, peat. Peat is a fuel source formed by decaying plant matter. It remains the primary flavor catalyst in single malt scotch. So when you dig it and dry it out, you've got something that's almost like stone that burns with a lovely fragrance and with some heat. The barley is spread evenly on the floor of a kiln. The peat fire smokes the barley for flavor and in the process stops the germination. All that smoke will be drawn slowly up through the bed of grain, but as the smoke is actually rising through the bed of grain, the grain is absorbing that smoky character, and that ultimately makes the character of Lefroy. When the malted barley is finally smoked and dried, it's ground and introduced to Scotch whiskey's other crucial ingredient. The water is so important, it almost defines the flavor that is possible to create in a distillery. It's not the only factor, but if you don't have the right quality of water, no matter what size of still or what apparatus you set up here, you won't get a good whiskey. The local water is the reason many distilleries in Scotland have been at the same location for generations. By combining the perfect water source with the perfect pot still, a unique whiskey emerges. Every distillery has their own particular design of still. Ours here, they're very small in comparison to some you'll see, very squat.